Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we take a look at headlines from our city, our state, and our country. We take a look at your comments, questions, and suggestions to put all this information together and connect as a community of English-speaking locals living here in Puerto Vallarta, some of us full-time, some of you uh, for a few months, some of you vacationing, but you are also welcome here, although we are primarily a broadcast for locals. Today is Monday, February the 20th, and as always, it's a pleasure to be here with you, and particularly after a very successful trip to Guadalajara this past weekend. I hope you enjoyed the walking tour that I left pre-recorded for you to enjoy on Saturday. Today, as always, we welcome those of you that are watching live for the first time, and um, we encourage you to let us know that you are new by writing the word new in your comments, and we'll be happy to give you a nice little welcome. And of course, if there's something really important in on your in your mind, if you're thinking of something that you wish to share with everyone, please add a capital letter Q, and we will be so very happy to take a look at it during the comment section later on, although I can't help but to notice that somebody is watching us all the way from Abu Dhabi. Hello, Stellas. Thank you very much for tuning in from such a faraway land. Today we have important news and we have some follow-up of information that we talked about last week. So we might as well get started with the headlines. Okay, so this past Friday, we mentioned a protest that took place as we were broadcasting having to do with a construction project along Pilitas Street. Today, we can confirm that indeed, this is about another questionable, questionable permit, construction permit that was obtained at the end of the past municipal administration involving the construction of a small condo tower in a space that is truly crowded already, where the permit had already been refused by a previous administration due to density issues. But apparently, they managed to sneak in a permit, and I don't know if they've actually started construction, but the neighbors were not pleased. All the details are contained within this article that we will leave in the show notes, and we can certainly hope that the construction will indeed be halted. It's not fair. The Jalisco Secretary of Tourism has announced a substantial investment of 96 million pesos to be implemented in four specific programs near Puerto Vallarta, beach tourism, maritime connectivity, um, boom, 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 a tourism academy, and other tourism-related activities. In a press conference, Secretary Vanessa Perez Lamas stated that and I quote, we are in debt when it comes to the pier at Boca de Tomatlan and also the Los Muertos pier that needs some well-deserved maintenance. These projects along 
with the investment in this El Salado Estuary improvements will continue to showcase our city as an important destination in Mexico's Pacific Riviera. And more on tourism, both the Jalisco and the Nayarit tourism secretaries have announced that even though the investment amounts have not been determined just yet, the joint promotional strategy between Puerto Vallarta and Riviera Nayarit will continue forward through the current year. It is well known that both destinations represent around 50,000 hotel rooms, and it is the most sought-after tourism destination in all of Mexico. This is good news. The local Integral Family Development Office, or DIF, has vowed to restructure itself with the intention to cut back 10 supervisory jobs, resulting in a savings of 10 million pesos this year. There is not much more to say here other than the fact that it's great to see that local government offices are attempting to streamline their operations in favor of saving money for other more important projects. Uh, Christian Jose Amador, who is the director of Puerto Vallarta's uh, International Airport, has confirmed that after Aeromar shut down its operations, other airlines will come forward and cover some of the routes previously serviced by the bankrupt airline in order to meet demands. This involves three particular destinations or points of departure, Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Aguascalientes. Unfortunately, Aeromar is not the only domestic airline in trouble at present time. We have learned that Alejandro del Valle, president of Interjet, is now a wanted man for fraud and tax evasion to the tune of almost 12 million pesos. I guess yours truly is ticking to good old ETN buses for the near future. Uh, and last in this segment of news, last week we announced that City Hall is planning to implement a new swimming pool safety protocol at all local hotels and condominium buildings this after four people lost their lives last year through drowning. In an interview, Alvaro Garciarse, who is president of the local Hotel Motel Association, stated that the organization has not been approached by the city's civil protection department just yet on this matter, but he trusts that the inspection and implementation of new protocols will not be too burdensome. And of course, we certainly hope that is the case. Now, let's take a look at our weather just to see what we can expect as we begin a new week. Okay, so I know nothing about this reference. Snarky Weather says, well, of course I know Sydney. She is me. Have no idea what this is about, but I can tell you that it is 28 degrees, feels like 27. Humidity is low, which is a good thing at 37%. And our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 82. Our weather forecast for today says it's going to be a clear day with a high of 31 and a low of 19. Tuesday, tomorrow, we are going to have another clear day with a high of 30 and a low of 19. Uh, and Wednesday, yet another clear day with a high of 29 and a low of 18. It could be that I just came back from a rather cooler city or maybe the weather is indeed starting to climb uh, but I can tell you that it feels a little bit balmy this morning and speaking of weather the National Weather Service has forecasted four heat waves that will affect parts of the country in March April and May and no also noting that these types of weather phenomena has not manifested itself in Mexico since 2017. The heat waves will primarily affect the states located in the center, west, south, and southeastern states, including the Yucatan Peninsula, where temperatures will rise above average. If I seem particularly happy this morning, it's because I had a wonderful weekend in Guadalajara, if you are a member, uh, either monthly or annual member of Coffee and Headlines, you should have received a little love note this morning with a short video showcasing some of the new adventures that I enjoyed this particular weekend. 
I will share with everybody else two important facts. I was able to ride the ETN bus with a senior ticket and no questions were asked at any point in time. <laughs> and of course, the trip to Guadalajara involved going to a concert in the beautiful con uh, uh, Conjunto Santander. That's the Conjunto Santander Performing Arts Center where, of course, we were very eager to get seated at our seats. That is our dear friend, Amiga Luisa, and Paul from Hotel Mercurio and myself. We enjoyed a phenomenal performance together along with other adventures. Um, let's see. Guillermo del Toro's stop-motion animation masterpiece, Pinocchio, keeps winning accolades. All over the place, the latest being the BAFTA Award for Best Animated Film. And of course, Mexican movie theaters are yet to schedule these, this very successful film at the theaters, unfortunately. At least we can find it on Netflix, but it's unfortunate that we don't get the large screen treatment for this one. Although I can say that I'm excited for Quantum Mania at some point this week. This one is about the environment. Apparently, Mexico was wrist slapped by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species or Wild Fauna and Flora, also known as the Washington Convention, for failing to implement proper uh, protocols to save the vaquita, which is a species of porpoise endemic to the northern end of the Gulf of California in Baja California here in Mexico. This is, the vaquita is, the smallest of all living cetaceans. The species is currently on the brink of extinction and currently listed as critically endangered. The steep decline in abundance primarily due to bycatch in gill nets from illegal fishery. To that effect, Mexico's federal uh, attorney's office for the protection of the environment has vowed to implement a new plan to ensure that the species continues to be properly protected. And last in the news today, last but not least, you know you're bound to have a bad work day when you make a living flashing a sign that says that you are deaf and mute, but you forget that you say that you're deaf and mute and you say buenos tardes as you walk into a store. This happened to some gal in Mexico City, and the TikTok video is quite humorous. I'm going to leave that for you to enjoy uh, in the show notes. And of course, a large part of my endeavors this week have to do with prepping for my great Mexican songs lecture, which will be this coming Thursday from 5 to 7, not 5 to 6.30. It's going to be a long one at the Joint Co-working Hotel. I sure hope you can attend. It's going to be a lot of fun. And now let's take a quick look at your comments. I hope you all had a great weekend. I mean, I'm going to see what you've been up to. I see a lot of good mornings as always. Um, <laughs> Luisa, you and Luke were so much fun to spend time with. And it's great that you are taking good care of Coffee and Headlines Guadalajara headquarters. Again, it's a pleasure to connect with you always. Uh, let's see what we have. Sherry is about to leave, leaving Puerto Vallarta tomorrow for Guadalajara. Sherry, I can tell you, nobody will trouble you with uh, the senior seats. Uh, you are going to just be able to board the, the bus without a problem. They won't even question you. And I'm sure you are going to have a great time in Guadalajara. I can't wait to hear your first time visit impressions. Mm. Let's see. Thank you very much for that, Sherry. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of, a, of our adventures in Guadalajara. Again, the video was sent to all subscribing members of Coffee and Headlines. Um, bidim pam pum pim pum. Yes, the heat waves are coming, says Muffin. I felt a bit of a change yesterday at the pool and checked out the forecast for this week and thought it looked a bit toasty. Yes, it seems to be coming up. And Brian is absolutely correct. That's, that place by Pilitas is an absolutely crazy place. 
to be building yet another building. Hopefully, they will not succeed in doing this. Uh, what else do we have? Marie is counting days, 53 more sleeps, and I can enjoy toast. Well, hopefully it won't get toasty in, in that many days. Hopefully it'll wait a little longer. But I, this morning I definitely feel a little warmth on the face. Tutti tutti tutti. Thank you, Logan, for sharing the correct location of where the building is supposedly going to be built or hopefully not built. Those, uh, those steps are an easy access to the lower part of the street, and it's a beautiful place. It would be so unfortunate if they put yet another building in that crowded area. Uh, -pum 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 -pum. Good morning, Randy. We met last year at the food park around this time. We'll be back in Puerto Vallarta on Wednesday. Maybe running to you again this year. Take care. Well, you know, I'm going to be going to the movies at La Isla at some point this week. And this usually means a nosh at the food park, either before or after the film. Um, let's see. So glad you had a good trip to Guadalajara. You know, our capital city never never disappoints. And if you haven't taken the time or the initiative to explore Guadalajara, you're in for so many treats. There's always something wonderful going on there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Kathy and I are heading into Emiliano Zapata later today to purchase our tickets for the music event you are having. Oh, Dan, that is so wonderful. Um, but if that is the only reason why you're going all the way to Emiliano Zapata, please let me know because I am happy to talk to the hotel and ask them to put aside two seats for you on the day of the event. So do check in with me privately. I know that for you and, and, and Kathy to... to you know, handle the the wheelchair can be a little bit cumbersome. So let me know. Let me know. Um, Gail asks, do you have an, an a discount, a senior discount card? I don't. And that is the thing, Gail. The only place where you can get one here locally, it's all the way to Ixtapa in the northern part of the city. And I have dreaded doing this because it's far away and it's complicated and you know, you have to submit paperwork, this, that, and the other. But no, we were able to purchase senior seats on online, and they didn't ask for an ID when we got on the bus both ways. So we were very happy. We were very proud senior citizens. Uh, and uh, this brings us to the end of today's broadcast. As always, I am so grateful to all of you and particularly to those of you that continue to support Coffee and Headlines through your occasional coffees, through your memberships. It is your contributions that help us uh, stay afloat and that allow us to continue doing these broadcasts. So it's Monday. Have a great week. Hopefully we will connect in the near future. Hopefully maybe tomorrow. Have a good one.